All right, in this video, we're going to look at uh, if you're given a line, can you figure out the y-intercept, the slope, make a table, and write an equation for this line. So let's go through all those things. And the first thing we're going to do is let's just identify some points on these lines. So I notice that this green line, maybe I'll use a different color here. Let's use orange. Looks like it crosses right there. It also crosses that point and that point. And let's keep going. If you notice, they're kind of all in a pattern here. Um, yeah, so then what we'll do is we will write, write down here as well. Let's make a table of x, y values. It's a pretty ugly y. Let's try that again. There we go. And so this first point here, we'll call this one A. This goes back one, two, three, four, five, six, and then down two. So that's going to be negative six, two. The next point called B is just going to be on the x-axis. That is back three. So back three and up zero. The next point is on the y-axis. That is up two. So it's left and right zero. Up two. I'm already realizing I made a mistake, didn't I? If we go back to this first one. That should be negative six, negative two, right? It's down two. So it should be negative six, negative two. Sorry about that. And then for our fourth point, we go over three, up four. Over three, up four would be three, four. And then the last point that we have on this line here, and you know, there's an infinite number of points, but the last one that I marked here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then up one, two, three, four, five, six. So that one's six, six. So six, six. All right, so there's a table of values. If you're given a graph, you should be able to come up with a table of values. The other thing we need to figure out is we need to figure out what is the y-intercept. So we'll do that. The y-intercept is right where it crosses the y-axis. This is called the y-intercept. So the y-intercept, intercept. They usually use the letter b for that, lowercase b, is going to be 2. Or sometimes you'll see it written as 0, comma, 2. And you can kind of see that in our table here. This is our y-intercept. I'll put a b there. The other thing that you'll need to be able to figure out is the slope. And so the slope, let me use a different color here for slope. The slope is how much the y changes on top. That little triangle thing is delta. It stands for change over how much the x changes. And so if we look, it goes up 2 and over 3 for the slope. So the y changes by 2, and the x changes by 3. So our slope, we usually use the letter m, is 2 over 3. So our equation for this is going to be y equals, and then you always write the slope, so 2 thirds x plus the y-intercept, which is 2. So it would be 2 thirds x plus 2, which is the y-intercept. So the slope and y-intercept are always going to be in this form of the line. You usually will call it y equals mx plus b, where the m goes in front of the x, that's the slope, and then the plus b is the plus the y-intercept. So let's look at the second example, and let's do the same thing. What I'd encourage you to do is maybe pause the video and see if you can come up with a table of values without my help. So uh, I noticed this point right here at the y-intercept, and then it looks like maybe right there would be another point, and then there's another point. I'm just looking for places where it crosses uh, some of the lines that are on the graph. And so let's make our table like we have before in the first example. This table is not going to be quite as long because the slope's a little bit bigger, or maybe not bigger slope, but it's just a longer distance between each point. 
So let's see, this first point in the middle here is going to be over 0, up 3, 0, 3. This next point on the right down here will be over 2, down 2, over 2, down 2, not down 5, down 2. And then the other point is back 2, up 2, 4, 6, 8, back 2, up 8. So uh, we've got our table of values. And then as far as finding the y-intercept, that is right here. That's our b value. So our, our b in this case is 3, or 0, 3. For our equation, we're just going to refer to it as b, or excuse me, 3. And then our slope is how far down versus how far over be consistent. Let's use that neon green again. So we're down 5. We're going to say negative 5 and then to the right 2. So our slope is going to be negative 5 over 2. And then if you notice, I didn't say this on the first example, but we'll do it on this example. If we figure out how far is it from 8 to 3, that's going down 5. From 3 to negative 2, that's going down 5. And then if we look at how much the x is changing, that's going up 2. And from 0 to 2, it's going up 2. And so the slope, remember I said it's the change in y over change in x. So the change in y is negative 5. We can see that on the table. And the change in x is 2. We also see that on the table. So for our equation, remember it's going to be in the form y equals mx plus b. So it would be our slope is negative 5 over 2, x plus the y-intercept, which is 3. So that would be our equation, y equals negative 5 over 2x plus 3. Okay, let's do one last example and finish this out. So like I said before, I'd encourage you to maybe pause the video so you can come up with all these answers on your own without my help. So here's one point. There's my y-intercept. There's another point, and another one, another one, and another one. So if I'm making a table of x, y values, we would have, let's see, we're down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're down 6, so over 0, down 6. And then this point on the left of here would be back 3, down 5. So negative 3, negative 5. This other point here would be back, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, down 4. Negative 6, negative 4. And then we go over 3, down 7. We kind of see this pattern developing here. And then we're over 6, down 8. All right, so there's a table given this line. Our y-intercept, or b in this case, is going to be right here. b is negative 6. And then our slope, if we count from one point to the next, we go down 3, excuse me, down 1 over 3. So our slope is going to be negative 1 over 3. And then what, with the equation, and remember, we can kind of see this on this table, we're going down one each time. And then if you notice, I didn't give myself enough room here, but the x's are all going down by three each time. Excuse me, up by three each time. I said that wrong. They're going up by three each time. So it's negative one over three. So for our equation, it's y equals the slope, which is negative one over three, times x, plus the y-intercept, which is negative six. So you could write it as plus negative 6, or you could just write minus 6, either way. All right, so there's a few examples of going from a graph to finding the y-intercept, the slope, getting a table, and then also finding the equation from there.